All right, guys, thanks for playing Wood Nickel tonight. We really enjoyed the performance. Um, would, would you first like to introduce yourselves? Um, I'm Will. I play bass. I'm Aaron. I play guitar and lead vocals. My name is Sean, and I play the drums. And you are? The Dead Records. All right. Dead Records. <laughs> um, speaking of that, um, I heard you have an interesting story about uh, how you picked that name. Yeah, um, we uh, went through a bunch of band names, and it was like, as anyone who's in a band knows, it's one of the most difficult parts of starting a band is coming up with a band name that you like. Um, so we went through a bunch of names, and then I was actually reading an article in uh, AP Magazine one day. Um, I can't remember who it was or what band it was, but it was some guy who was talking about how the digital age of music has kind of taken over. and. Um, I just started thinking about it and like I'm not against digital music, none of us are against digital music because it's really helped us out as far as exposure with MySpace and, and downloads and whatnot. but uh, I kind of started thinking about it and I started thinking about that the one part that really got me into music and I, the one part I really enjoyed about music was going to a CD store and uh, buying a CD and like that experience, you know, you open the CD, pop it out and read the lyrics when you listen to the whole thing through. and. I was just thinking about how you know that's going to be lost with the whole digital age of music. Artwork's going to be lost, like on CDs, and I don't know if kids get that experience anymore. And I don't think that's a good thing for music. So that's where the name The Dead Records came from. I mean, that's that's it. Yeah. Well, as a, as a record store, I can appreciate that. Yeah, <laughs> I, thought so. I thought so. It's, it's a truly intimate experience when you're you know you're waiting for months for the you know your Brand favorite new band's album to, album to come out, yeah. and then you know you get it, and you're excited you rip off the packaging you know it's like you, yeah. it's that moment of excitement and CD smell yeah <laughs> and, i don't know so we just you know yeah, the, the, yeah like you and said we, we had we had dis we had discussed it like months before sean had even read this article and we had discussed it so like when he read the article it was just like it clicked a, a click like a sign like uh -huh. and we wanted something that meant something we didn't want to just you know pick a band name we kind of we went through picking band names and and we kind of were like, what can we name it that like is like a good solid name that like has this this idea behind it, mm -hmm. and that's where the Dead Records came from. And it, it kind of leads into the writing of our CD, really, because when we wrote our CD, it was I think too much now. Bands bands strive for a single, which really I think hurts bands because like that. But that's what the market is right now. It's oversaturated with singles. Bands you just you crumble up and throw them away after you hear one of their songs and. It's like, when we wrote our CD, we wanted it front to back to be like, people would listen to it front to back like a story, you know, and like, you could listen to the whole entire thing, and hopefully, I mean, if you like our sound, hopefully you're going to like the entire CD. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't like us, then you're not going to like any of the songs, but I mean, hopefully if you like us, then you can, you're not just going to turn the CD, put it in your player, and turn to number three, and then listen to it, and then pop it out again. Like, hopefully you'll listen it front to back, one to eleven, you know, like, mm -hmm. that's kind of our, that was our hope when we wrote the CD. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And, um... I understand that you guys uh, did a nice little tour this summer. Could you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, one of you guys can talk about Why that. Uh, we did a we did an East Coast tour, uh, pretty much the whole month of June. Uh, we were on the road. Um, we went up. Uh, let's see, we did uh, I don't know how many different states. We probably seven or eight different states. Yeah. Wow. Uh, we did about uh, sixteen different cities. Um, so and it, and it was a and the biggest thing about it was the learning experience. I would say. I mean, it, it's not easy going out. We booked it months in advance and 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 wanted. It was something that we wanted to do for years. Being in bands is like let's we need to do a tour just to see what it's like just to do it. And so we kind of just like did it and you know we learned a lot from it. I think it was a big learning experience when we got back. So um, it was a great time. I mean, like there's hard times when you're sleeping on concrete out in some <laughs> park or Walmart, Walmart parking, parking lots. Um, yeah, but those are great topics it, to um, learn to write music from, though, too, you they know? They are. <laughs> it's, it's something that you got you got to do, because, like, I could sit here and tell you all all day, like, the stuff that you should do when you tour, cause, but, like, you can't learn it unless you tour, you yeah. know? It's like, you can't, I mean, it's the, it's the things you learn from it, you can only learn if you go out it's and like do it and fail. You, you have to do it and fail. You I can't think. learn how to ride a bike if you don't have a bike. You know? yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's, <laughs> exactly. That's, that's kind of yeah, That would be like difficult. I agree with you there. People can tell you how, how to do it and everything, yeah. but you, you got to do it on your yeah. own to figure it out. So, Which is what we did because we, we kind of thought, I mean, we prepared and thought how it was going to be, but it ended up being almost completely different than what we thought. Mm -hmm. And like we would do something wrong and then we'd realize, 
oh, well, why didn't we do it this way? And, yeah. and like, you can't just like tell somebody that I don't think maybe. Yeah. Like a band would have to like start off and like just go out for like a week or two and, and like figure it out for yourself and then like the next time you do it maybe you're a little better and a little better at it mm -hmm. every time so it's a great experience but though. it's a good time it is a yeah. good time and and the new album where was that recorded at digit tracks digit tracks Fort Wayne. and uh, when when did you start writing songs for that or how long is that been? was uh, that in production it's been a, probably about a year um, about a year in the works yeah that we started kind of getting the songs together and writing them and yeah I mean we we really quickly went we probably went in the studio too quick. But we were really anxious to get something that we mm -hmm. could have. Something tangible that so, you can get uh, out there. Yeah. Played, somebody could somebody people can leave with some, yeah. something from us. Yeah. So that was important to us. And you recently did a uh, performance in Battle of the Bands. Yep. And you were one of the top bands and you're featured on the C D that's gonna be coming out this fall. Uh, what song is it that will be on the C D? Uh, it's called Dirty and Cheap. Dirty and Cheap. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's a new song. It's not on our CD. It's not on the CD. Okay, uh, it's no. a new song. Yeah, okay. it's a new song. We had written we had written a few new songs, and contemplating like, well, when are we gonna put those out? And it was kind of a great chance for us to be like, hey, we can we can go in the studio and record a new song. So, and like our fan, a lot of our fans are really excited about it because they're all like, when are you gonna put new stuff out? So, yeah. uh, it's a brand new song that's gonna be out. Um, so we're pretty excited about getting it out and having people hear it. We're actually okay. hoping. I think to go in and record again in, in four or five months or really? something. Really? Wow. We're hoping to, yeah. If I mean, if we got enough money, but sure. like, uh, just do uh, five or six songs, like on any, and do an EP or something like that, because I don't know. Just get, keep bringing new stuff out, keep bringing stuff out for people to get excited about, and like keep the ball, the ball rolling. Sure. I guess, to use a cliche, but. Yeah, and it's hard for us because we really really enjoy writing yeah so absolutely. like when we wrote our first album and it was done with we still wanted to keep writing but we we'd finished this album and then we were like well that's kind of a bummer because now you know we want to keep writing but then it's like we didn't want to keep writing too much because we knew that like if you just keep writing new stuff then you're never going to play the old stuff you right know? and like right. when you just put a cd out you know new and you want everybody to you know <laughs> listen to that and have a you know a reference as to when we're playing live we don't right. want to yeah. bum so anybody we, out like that yeah we kind of yeah. we kind of slowed the writing process down for a few months and oh. we're like let's just let's just play shows and get on the road and uh but like now we're we're i think we're really going to hit it hard this fall and winter of uh, writing more songs and uh, hopefully getting them recorded because I'm sure once we get them written, we're going to want to record them. And if um, if fans want to get a hold of you on the internet, what's the best way to do that? Uh, the MySpace is what we you know do usually do everything uh, with. It's uh, www.myspace.com slash the dead records rock. All lowercase, everything no like that, no spaces. Okay. It's pretty easy. Send us a message, get in contact with us. We love to hear from you. Yeah. Okay. And All right. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for playing tonight. I really enjoyed it. And uh, good luck us. with everything coming up. Thank you. Thank you.